Yeah, so it's gonna be the Just Chilling Podcast. We're gonna talk about uh John Gruden getting fired from the Raiders. I'm on my way to work. Well, so I'm just leaving work right now, as you can see. Thought I'd get in here and try to sneak one in. But uh I found out about this like last weekend on Friday. I think that some shit he had posted a few years ago uh, was some racist shit that just came back up now he wasn't fired at the moment I found out but uh, I kind of figured some shit was going to happen when they found out about it so uh, apparently he he called some dude uh, Damar Smith or something like that he told him he had lips the size of a Michelin tire. <clears throat> Which is racist enough, but uh, his his excuse for it was, was dumb as fuck to me. He was saying that he didn't mean to, he didn't mean any racial, anything racial by it. He was using that as uh, a way to call somebody uh, a liar. And I don't know who he thought was going to believe that. I don't know who he trying to convince that you calling a black man. You basically telling a black man he got some fat ass lips. You know what I'm saying? Like, you a white man, so I don't understand, like, how he, he thought that we was going to understand that in any other way than what we took it. Uh, he the head coach of the Raiders. He been around for a while. Uh, he used to do uh, Monday Night Football. And he fought with a bag. He fought with a bag big time because he had a 10-year, $100 million contract with the uh, Oakland Raiders, and that shit up in smoke now. I don't think they was going to... I mean, they should have fired him. I don't know if they was going to fire him, but... I felt like as soon as this shit came out, they should have fired him. Um, then he ended up resigning. So I guess, uh, I guess they pressured him or told him it was in his best interest to resign. Um, I was talking to some people about it at work. I was talking about talking to it, talking about it to some other people outside of work. But when that came out, as a person of color, as people of color we only gonna take that one type of way and we sure that's how you meant it wasn't a racist racist type of way um i mean i told us i was like how he gonna confront how he gonna go back and talk to his team after that he the head coach a good 85 percent of your football team are um, black and african-american so you know they got they got similar lips than what you speak of. Like you should you shouldn't have even like I don't know. I mean I know you can argue that they dug they dug up some of his old shit from from the past and was trying to get him out. Uh, yeah, somebody probably didn't like him. He probably might have got some enemies out here. Um, people that don't like him, you know, got access to shit. So yeah, that that's probably something that happened. But you don't want, I mean, as a football coach, I mean, we already, let me fix this camera. We already don't like to turn owner for football uh, coaches, I mean, football owners. So for the, for the coach to come out and say, use racial language, I mean, they even said that he was that he was you know calling people faggots and stuff like that. I don't I don't know that to be true myself, but I'm pretty sure if I looked it up, there'll be something there for me to uh, to see about that as well. But to be honest with you, he he hit it pretty good. He hit it pretty good. I never thought that that he used that type of language. Damn. That he used that type of language. 
Uh, he never really gave off the vibe. I think even the football players was, was shocked. That's why I was like, how he gonna go back and talk to his football team? And they, it's on a bumpy road. How you gonna go back and talk to your football team after that shit come out? You really can't. Man, I can't help it, man. I'm over here trying to get to school. But uh, it was just on my mind to say something about it. I know it's uh I know it's you know it's in the it's, it's you know it's a room that you know room that's been going around all weekend about uh John Gruden. The the real life Chucky doll, if he came came um came alive as a real person, he looked just like the damn Chucky doll if you look at him. I wish I could just put a picture of him right there. But yeah, he out of a job. He probably gonna be counseled for a while. I mean, it's a big week of counseling. You know, people trying to counsel Dave Chappelle. People trying to counsel, well, people are counseling John Gruden. I don't. And we, you know, I say rightfully so. You know, you shouldn't be, if you're, if you're a right, and I always say, I like my racist to be upfront and honest. If you're a racist, go ahead and tell me where your Trump shit around me, where your Confederate flag. I want to know, I want all the, I hate undercover racist people. You know, if I'm pro-black, I'm gonna let you know I'm pro-black. If you, if you, you know, pro-white or uh, fucking, you know, KKK supporter, hey, let me know so I know how to move around you. So, I mean, I, you know, I appreciate that coming from him just for being the type of person I am. But at the same time, you can't be a leader of black men and use that type of language, whether it's in your email or not, you know? Uh, yeah, ain't no way around it. You don't, when have you ever, when have you ever heard anybody call somebody a liar and use the term rubber lips? Like, that shit makes no sense. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that for real. I just wanted to jump in here on my way to class and uh, knock that one out for y'all.